Jade Harper has been watching what's been going on south of us for months now, and she decided to do what she could and took supplies to the camp this weekend. She says seeing the community that's been created there is beyond explanation. The teepees and I think that the and all the fires, uh, everything that's really keeping the community together is comes on very strong. And as soon as you come, it is kind of intense in this beautiful way. Um, but that changes when you start walking towards the front line. You have this large group of people, a large group of water protectors coming together, and then you have folks on the other side. There's no dialogue happening, um, but there seems to be a lot of tension. There was relief when the pipeline was denied. Assembly Manitoba Chief Derek Nipanak says he actually felt a sense of elation. Uh, now incoming President Donald Trump does support the pipeline, but he hasn't said if he will overturn the work stoppage. So Nipanak recognizes there's still more ahead for protesters. They need to maintain a strong presence on the ground, and I think that a lot of the uh, a lot of the uh, narratives and rhetoric coming out of uh, you know, the president-elect will eventually subside. Both Nipanak and Harper say Standing Rock shows the power of protest and hope Canadians become more informed and more outspoken about pipelines here in Canada. Megan Fiddler, CBC News, Winnipeg.